So I'm going to be trying American snacks that I've never tried before. I'm so excited. Now let's go to the shop. I'm going to try and see if the person's going to let me record in the shop. So I can show you everything that I get. Let's go. So hello and welcome to a brand new video. So I am trying American snacks that I've never tried before and ones that everyone talks about. So like Tacky's Blue, Root Beer, all the classics that everyone's talking about that I've never tried. So let's get into it. Starting off with these Tacky Blue Heat. They are not kidding when they say blue. Look, this is literally ridiculous. Let's go. I don't know how people enjoy them. I mean, if you're good with spice, then maybe, because I'm terrible with spice. But that for a crisp is ridiculously, oh my word. Oh, that's so spicy. So I've just opened up a can of root beer, because I feel like that's what a lot of Americans talk about, so let's give it a go, because I need a drink. Oh, oh, what is that? That is actually awful. It's like a proper bizarre bubblegum flavour. That is horrendous. So far, the classics of the tatties and the root beer are not for me at all grim. Let's throw yourself back into the deep and again this tacky lollipop. I've seen people try these recently. I'm nervous. Scared about the life. Let's go. Oh my goodness. This looks awful. Oh. oh. I need something that's not but squash the side just in case. That is horrendous. That doesn't even taste nice. At least with the tacky's blue. I can appreciate if you're good with spice that you probably would like that. It's not bad, it's too hot for me. That isn't even pleasant. It's just like chilli powder on a lollipop, but like a f funny taste in chilli powder. That's horrendous. Ooh. So, Calypso, Taste of the Island, Black Cherry and Lemonade. I've seen loads of people try these. I wanted to get the blue ones, because I feel like the blue one's the most popular one, but they didn't have it left. Ooh. Let's go. I feel like it isn't bad. It's quite sickly, I'll be honest. It's quite like an artificial cherry. I feel like if I have a few sips of this, I'm gonna feel sick. In fact, I'm gonna have to drink this over a few days. Yeah, it's not a bad taste at all. Like, I wouldn't buy it again because I want a drink that I can drink at one time and that you will not be able to do that. It's very, very artificial, very sickly. So far, this is not going well of the traditional stuff that people eat. Next up, honey bun. I hear people talk about this all the time. Also, I don't like honey, so I'm not sure how this one's gonna go. But we move, let's try. Yeah, that's what we out. So I got it by this brand. I don't know if this is the brand that you often have in America or not. This is the brand that was in the American sweet shop. Oh my, that is lovely. I'm gonna have another bite of that. That is really good. It's, it's like a really, really soft, lovely version of a doorknob that's flat and got loads of like, like the glaze on a doorknob. It's like that, but just so soft. It melts in your mouth. So next up, Sweet tart chews. I hear people talk about sweet tarts quite a lot, like when I watch YouTubers and like sweet tarts this, sweet tarts that. So I thought let's give it a go. I'm not sure what sweet tart is. I've got a clue. So we've got an orange sweet tart. Let's go. Oh, very chewy. Yeah, it's okay. Um, the flavour is nice. It is a nice flavour. It says extreme sour on the front. It isn't sour. Just like everything goes so sour, it's like never sour. Um, it's tasty. It's basically just like a really hard version 
of a skittle. Like you know when you break through the skittle shell and it's chewy? This is basically just like a hard, slightly powdery version of that. But the flavour is extremely good. Not a massive fan on the texture, but I will say the flavouring is extremely good. Next up, Toxic Waste Blue Raspberry Ultra Sour Flavour. This was like a bonus one, so we're throwing that in the mix in the middle. I was like, yes, sour. I'll try that, why not? Let's have a go on this. Oh, I can't even open it. It says blue raspberry, but comes out with purple, not blue. So it isn't sour, which I'm not surprised about, because they all say sour and things are never sour. Um, it is a good bar though. I do enjoy it. It's got a nice amount of flavour. It's got a little zing to it, but it isn't sour. Very good. Nuclear waste bar, yes, I'm a fan of you. And another one in the mix. So we have, you know, like here, I don't I presume in America you'd have the same things, but in England we have slushies. So it's a slushy in a bar. I'm excited to try that. A slushy in a bar, yes, please. So here we go. So it's like a yellow and pink bar. It says strawberry and lemon and lime flavour sour fizz chew bar. It's not sour one bit. The flavouring, there isn't a lot there. You get like a hint of lemon. You get no strawberry whatsoever. The chew bar itself isn't that great. It's quite soft. Whereas the nuclear one's quite chewy, which is what you want from a chew bar, right? Uh, yeah, don't get that. Not great. Jolly Ranchers. Obviously, everyone talks about Jolly Ranchers. And this one, a different flavourings I've never tried before. So it's got fruit punch, golden pineapple, lime and mango. So I'm very interested in this like. I'm going to go for pineapple because it's like one of my favourite fruits. Oh, actually I picked up a mango one. We'll roll it. Why not? I thought pineapple would be like a yellow-orange colour. Apparently it's not. Let's give this a try with the mango. Yeah. Joining ranchers every time, no matter what flavouring it is, is so good. The only one that I don't like is, I think it's a great, is a great one. Or I think it's something else. If it is a great one, I don't like that one. Because I think it's far too artificial. But other than that, every Jolly Rancher flavour I've ever tried is amazing. And I'm sure these will be good. But this mango one's so, like, fruity. The pineapple one, which is my favourite fruit, is going to be sensational, I can tell. So next up we have these Warheads Extreme Sour and they look like they're in the same sort of packaging as like Toxic Waste are. So I'm going to hold them to the same standard as Toxic Waste, only fair. Black Cherry. Let's go. It's got like a white coat on it and it's giving me very sour vibes so I'm actually a little scared. <laughs> oh clear. Yeah, that's sour. Ooh. I finally found a sweet that says it's sour and delivers. Yes, finally. And the flavouring is unreal. These are very, very good. If you're in America or you're in England and season a shop and you like sour sweets, pick them up. Very sour when you first put it in, we are slightly watering. And the flavour after, I'm now getting the black cherry flavour through. It's very, very good. I would actually probably go as far to say that I potentially prefer these over toxic waste. And I never thought I'd say that because I love toxic waste. So up next we have bottle caps. These look like the sweets that we used to get here. I can't remember the name of them, but I used to eat them all the time. And I saw them in the shop and I was like, if this is the same thing, I'm going to literally spend all my money in here. No. They do not look the same. I'm sad now. They do not look the same. So this should be orange. These bottle caps, don't buy them. Terrible. It's just like, you know palmer violets? When you crunch into them, they're just like powder. Basically, that's what a bottle cap is. They're just like a powdery crunch. But then the flavour is rank. It's a terrible flavour. Bottle caps are not for me personally. Last thing to try is this Warheads Sour Lemon Drink. I feel like lemon is probably like the sourest of flavours. Warheads, these extreme sours really knocked me face off. So they actually are sour. 
So I'm a little scared for the lemon sour drink. But let's try. It's not sour at all. It literally just tastes like a lemon drink. There's no sour in that drink at all. It's just like lemon, fizzy, fizzy lemon. That's all it is. So, that is everything tried now. My tummy is uncertain what happened. Oh, and I also, while I was there, a little bit melted now. I got a Jolly Rancher slushy. It was blue raspberry and cherry. Oh my. It was the best slushy I've ever tried in my whole life. So good. It's a bit liquidy now, like. It still tastes good. But the flavours are so good. My favourite thing by far. Hmm. Actually, I don't know now. Now I'm just seeing them. I'm not sure now. So, for... This honey bun was up there, you know. I'm not sure. So my top three, I usually do a top favourite, but I can't decide. My top three of these, the Warhead Extreme Sours, the Jolly Rancher, Pineapple, etc. And this honey bun, which is unreal. And I'm going to have another taste of this terrible lollipop. So please smash the subs or button just for that. Because this is horrendous like. Look at the powder on there. Ooh, gosh. <coughs> that was truly horrendous. So if there are any snacks or anything that you do want to see me try, let me know. I want to say thank you very much on my last video when I got a few comments on some eating challenges to try. One of the eating challenges will be happening on Sunday and I'm excited for that. So if there's any snack reviews, any eating challenges that you haven't said yet and you do want me to try, please comment down below. Let me know and I will make them happen. Take care, stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video.